Hey, what's up, DJs? So I just wanted to shoot a quick video kind of talking about what happened this last weekend and a couple tips, especially for anybody who is just kind of starting out building their business. So quick run through. I had two events scheduled this weekend, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. Tuesday night, my throat began to hurt and COVID is kind of going around my town right now. Uh, when we went to Milwaukee for Midwest DJs Live, a few of the guys that I was spending a lot of time with got COVID when they came back. So <clears throat> when my throat started hurting on Tuesday, Wednesday, I took a test. It was negative. And then Thursday night, I started getting a really bad fever and started getting cold chills and sweats and it wasn't fun. So I took another test then. It came up positive. And needless to say, I was freaking out, right? Because I'm not the kind of DJ that just shows up to an event with a planning form and hopes for the best. Crossing their fingers, saying, oh, I am meeting my clients a minimum of three times before the wedding. And that is not three times, including when they book. That is three times after the contract is signed, after I have a deposit, we are meeting just to talk about the details of their wedding. So needless to say, I was freaking out a little bit, right? I did a video recently about my trip to Milwaukee. Uh, Thomas Heath from A Plus Entertains, Paul Widlin from NorthernMichiganDJ.com, and Bill Schramm, uh, who is just starting 231 Entertainment in my area. All We all rode down together and then rode back together and while we were there, we had a group chat. And it was more of just a place that all of us could kind of stay updated. First thing I did Friday morning was I sent a message in that group chat showing a picture of my positive COVID test saying, I don't know what to do. I have two events this weekend. And I was freaking out. Now, thankfully, Thomas Heath from A Plus Entertains, uh, one of his guys, Luke Graham, was available. And we were kind of putting in motion that Luke was going to be doing it. Bill Schramm from 231 Entertainment was available for my wedding on Sunday. Not for Saturday, but for the one on Sunday. What we kind of worked out was that Luke was going to handle my event on Saturday. He was going to go there. Uh, now, when I meet with my couples, I take meticulous notes in my DJ event planner. And shout out to DJ event planner because especially with Thomas Heath using DJ Event Planner, it made it super easy to get him the planning forms and get him everything he needed in order to make sure Luke had what he needed. So I am currently recovering from COVID. I am doing much better. My voice is still kind of recovering. I have to clear it every now and then. No sore throat, no nothing. Symptom-wise, I'm completely fine now. But one thing I will throw out there, to anybody who is just starting out their business, especially this year, if you don't feel good, take a test. Whether it's an at-home test, whether you go somewhere and get tested, because here's the thing, the symptoms for this current strain are not that bad. I would have just thought I had a cold. Thank goodness I tested because the wedding on Saturday was at this huge Airbnb overlooking a lake. 130 guests, destination wedding, so nobody was local. Everybody was coming in from different parts of the world, Chicago, uh, I think some were coming from downstate Michigan. So <clears throat> if I hadn't have tested and I would have just tried to toughen it out, best case scenario, maybe 50 people would catch COVID from me. Worst case scenario, all 130. And maybe somebody having complications because of it, whatever it might be, right? So biggest thing I could say is test yourself if you aren't feeling well. And second, have a plan in motion if you need it. As DJs, the thing that sucks is we never want to send someone else to do our events, right? Especially when we really care about our events. The problem with what we do is that if we can't show up and do it, that's it, right? Like most of us built our brand on ourselves. So have a plan in motion. It will happen, especially this year. This current strain is very contagious. Symptoms are not very bad at all. I mean, I only had symptoms about three days. And then the rest of the time, 
was just kind of recovering, but <clears throat> have a plan in motion. And this really speaks to the importance of networking. Meet the DJs in your market, get to know them, build solid relationships with them so you guys can help each other out, right? Thankfully, with A Plus Entertains, NorthernMichiganDJ.com, so Thomas Heath and Paul Whitland, they both have been in the industry for a very long time. So I knew that my events were going to be in good hands because Luke from A Plus Entertains was going to handle Saturday. Bill Schramm was going to handle Sunday, but Paul was going to go with him to make sure all of the logistics were met. Because Paul is an older DJ. He doesn't typically DJ anymore. He has his DJs do it. But he's a logistical genius. He knows how to be efficient with the gear. He knows what gear is needed for what. He's really good at that. So between having somebody from A+, do my event on Saturday. I knew my couple were going to get the same treatment that I usually give them, right? <clears throat> and this is a picture of the dinner space at the Airbnb, right? So look how tight, compact that is. If I would have just tried to toughen it out, a lot of these people would be sick right now. And another thing I can say is before you contact your couples and freak them out, have a game plan in motion. My couple... Saturday and Sunday were both incredibly appreciative because they understand like COVID happens. They were so appreciative because I already had a plan in place before I even called them. So we already knew what plan B was going to look like before I had that conversation with the couple. So between having uh, Luke Graham do my event Saturday, uh, Bill, Paul, and Jody, it was mainly Bill and Jody. Paul went there, set everything up. Now, Jody, my assistant, was able to attend both of the weddings, and I know that Luke really appreciated that. After the weddings, I contacted both couples. Both of them loved their weddings. Saturday, they loved Luke. They loved how outgoing he was. And on Sunday, they loved Bill. They loved Jody. They had an alpaca in a tux named Prince. I'm really bummed I missed that. Um... And the wedding on Sunday was actually a bride that she wanted to do something different for her wedding. So what we had done was I booked studio time at a recording studio for her. We went in there and we recorded a custom cover of their song that she was going to walk down the aisle to. And it was a complete surprise to her fiance. So when she was walking down the aisle, he was going to hear her singing a cover of their song. So it was really cool, and I'm bummed I missed that. But, you know, they were so appreciative that I took the time to get it figured out. I didn't just say, oh, tough luck, sorry. I have COVID, I can't go. I didn't try to tough it out, so I didn't get every single body. I didn't get a bunch of people at both of these weddings sick, right? So build a relationship with DJs in your market. Have a plan B in place. If you get sick or you don't feel good, at least take a at home test. At least do that. Do not just, oh, it's just a typical code, cold. I'm just going to tough it out. Do not do that. Because weddings are a very special moment for people. And you really need, even if you cannot be there, there's still plenty that you can do, right? Be professional. Make sure that you are doing what is best for your clients and not your wallet, right? Did I make a bunch of money this weekend? No, I didn't, right? It wasn't as profitable as a weekend as it would have been if I would have been able to go there. Did I lose money? No, I didn't. I didn't make a bunch of money either, right? Actually, it was pretty much a wash, but my couples were taken care of and that makes my business, my reputation even stronger. And that is the biggest thing is right now we need to build a solid reputation for our business and let people know that they can trust us. And the best way to do that is to just take care of them. Build a network in your market, get to know the other DJs, build relationships with them, help each other out, right? If another DJ in your market needs help, be the guy willing to step in if you have the ability to, because it is so valuable. And I'm so appreciative of Thomas Heath Luke Graham, Paul Whitlin, Bill Schramm, all of them. Jody as well. Jody 
even though I wasn't there, he still tagged along. He still helped out. He got to experience uh, what it's like working with other DJs instead of just working with me. So that was really cool. So <clears throat> if you like content like this, hit that bell button, turn on notifications. If you can, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comments section below. I will see you guys in the next one.